Before we get into this video, about 68% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so get your life together and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a like on this video. This is going to be day one of 12 days of MLB listicles type of things, which is like most overpaid, most underrated, stuff like that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video talking about the most overpaid player from every MLB team. Now, there are some teams that just do not have an overpaid player, and if that's your team, I mean, I guess it sucks that your team won't get mentioned in this video, but like it's also good because your team doesn't have an overpaid player. I don't really know. But we're going to talk about the most overpaid player from every team in this video. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're enjoying the 12 days of MLB listicles. Obviously, this is day one. Tomorrow's video will be 10 most team-friendly contracts in Major League Baseball right now. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a like. I have no clue when the videos will be uploaded. Just subscribe, turn on notifications, and you'll know immediately. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. So... Let's start off with some honorable mentions in this video. First honorable mention is Jordan Zimmerman at $25 million a year. Jordan Zimmerman is like a number four, number five starter at best. That's being nice. He's not a very good starter at all. And Jordan Zimmerman should not be paid $25 million. He's more of like $5 million, $6 million, $7 million. He really should not get paid this much. Terrible contract by the Tigers. The Tigers, they have some pretty bad contracts. Um, there's another contract on this list that's going to be pretty bad. So, yeah. Next contract is Brandon Crawford at $15 million a year. At the age he's at right now, he's not worth $15 million. I know $15 million may be one of the lower contracts on this list of worst contracts in Major League Baseball, but like still, Brandon Crawford for $15 million is quite a bit of an overpay. Brandon Bell at $17 million, another overpay. Giants fans, I know you <laughs> I know you probably are not going to be happy that I'm just talking about how a lot of your players are overpaid. I'm really sorry, but it has to be done because they are overpaid. And Giants, unfortunately, you've got another one on the honorable mentions list, and that's going to be Evan Longoria at $15 million a year. Now, Evan Longoria, he was great on the Rays, and he was a fan favorite on the Rays. He went to the Giants and just has not been the same since, which, eh, I mean, it's tough, but he's not been the same since since he has went to the San Francisco Giants. Now, let's get into the normal list of the most overpaid players in Major League Baseball right now. Starting off with the San Diego Padres, and they have one clear overpaid player, and that's going to be Will Myers, getting $22 million this year. Will Myers does not deserve $22 million. He's definitely not worth $22 million. And that's just a bad contract. Nothing else to be said. A bad contract by the Padres. They shouldn't have given out this contract. Now, you could say Eric Cosmer, another bad contract. And yes, you're right, that is another bad contract. But Eric Cosmer gives way more production in Major League Baseball than Will Myers. So, Will Myers is definitely the more overpaid, in my opinion. So, yeah, Will Myers, most overpaid player for the San Diego Padres. The Giants, they've already had three players on this list, but they're going to get a fourth player, and that's going to be Johnny Cueto at $21 million this year. Johnny Cueto at $21 million, who's not even an ace, is a, quite a bit of an overpay. For a player like him, he's not that good, who has a lot of injuries as well. So, he definitely is not that great. Um, Giants fans, yes, when you when this contractor trade, I can't even remember which one it was, wasn't that bad because Johnny Cueto was an ace-type pitcher. But Johnny Cueto is not that ace-type pitcher anymore. He's had a lot of injuries, and yeah. Next is Ian Desmond for the Colorado Rockies at $15 million. Ian Desmond at $15 million is definitely an overpay. Um, what an overpay. I mean, Ian Desmond is just a good utility player at best. I mean, he's not great. And he definitely does not deserve $15 million, even though it is one of the lower contracts on this list. That is a bad contract. Next is David Price for the Los Angeles Dodgers at $21 million this year. This one's a bad contract. Now, I, I know when he signed this contract, it didn't look like a bad contract. But now, in hindsight, it looks like a bad, bad contract. Because $21 million is just a very much so overpay. And, yeah. 
Next is Ryan Braun at $17 million. Um, another, he, he's a cheater. That's, I think he signed that contract when he was cheating and hasn't got caught yet. So, Brewers, I'm sure you regret that. Uh, you could probably get starting pitchers with that $17 million, and you just still don't, Ryan Braun's not doing anything good for you. Pirates have no overpaid players, so that's good for Pirates fans. No overpaid players for them. They're a, they're a young team and a bad team. Next is Reds. Joey Votto at $25 million. Now, Joey Votto, if you look two years ago, you would say, no way he's an overpaid player. He's an overpaid player because he's not that good anymore. He does not hit home runs. Yes, he still walks. But he is a he's he's not his former self. And when this contract was given out, not nearly as bad. Now it's pretty pretty bad. Next for the Cardinals, it's gonna be Matt Carpenter, eighteen point five million dollars. That is an absolute crazy contract for Matt Carpenter, who is not even a starter on a team. I don't think. I don't think he's a starter on a team. I really don't. Bad contract. Bad contract. Next is the New York Mets, and it's Robinson Cano at $24 million, but he's not getting paid because he took steroids. So the Mets for this year have no overpaid players, but looking into the future, Robinson Cano is their most overpaid player. So Robinson Cano, he's not getting paid this year. Um, Yeah, they just signed James McCann at the time of filming this video, which is um, December 12th at like 6.25 p.m. And... They signed James McCann for a dirt cheap contract, four years, $40 million, and they're still expected to get Springer or Bauer one. So the Mets are definitely in the right direction. Next is the Philadelphia Phillies. Their most overpaid player is Andrew McCutcheon at $20 million. Andrew McCutcheon is not worth $20 million. Now, at one point in his career when he was MVP Andrew McCutcheon, he definitely probably is worth $20 million. But Andrew McCutcheon is not worth he, he's just not worth it. And, I mean, he's just not worth $20 million for a player that gets injured a lot. And he's serviceable in the outfield. And he's not a terrible outfielder, I don't think. I think it's just the fact that he has had so many injuries. Nationals have no overpaid players. The Marlins, once again, have no overpaid players. The Marlins... Giancarlo Stanton could definitely fit in that category for him if he was still on that team, but he's not. The Marlins have got off all their big contracts, and they really don't have any big contracts left. They're going into a rebuilding phase, and they're not doing a bad job, it doesn't seem like, right, as of right now. The Mariners have no overpaid players. I mean, Kyle Seager, not overpaid, I don't think. I think he's pretty good. Um, final team that has no overpaid player is the Atlanta Braves. They have no overpaid players now. Enter Enciarte, $7 million. That's not an overpay, really. Um, he just does not hit the ball at all. So, now, for the Rangers, it's going to be Rudnett Odor at $12 million. I, I'm not a big Rudnett Odor fan. I don't think he's he's a starting second baseman. I think he's more of a DH. He strikes out a lot. Um, he, he plays a pretty terrible second base. I'm just not a fan of Brunetto Door. Next is Chris Davis. And you're wondering which Chris Davis. The one with a K for the Oakland Athletics at $16 million. Yes, he is a good home run hitter. And yes, he can be good. But I don't think he's worth $16 million for his services to do that. Next is the Astros. And this one may be a bit controversial, but I'm going to go with Jose Altuve at $29 million this year. That's an overpay in my opinion. The way he played in 2020 does not look like $29 million was a good contract at all. And they did pay this while they were cheating. So that's another thing to take in account. They paid this contract while they were cheating. So he was better than he probably will ever be. Next is Albert Pujols at $29 million. And Albert Pujols, very good player. He, he's a Hall of Famer. But he's not a Hall of Famer right now. And this is a significant overpay. But, I mean, the Angels, they're still spending money. They're still rumored to possibly get Bauer. They they have Rendon, Trout. I mean, this these contracts aren't really haunting any team right now. But 
like they're just I mean they're not they're not hunting any team right now oh Cleveland I forgot about them they have no overpaid player next twins Josh Donaldson is who I'm gonna go with at 19 million dollars Josh Donaldson I thought this was a decent contract for a player like Josh Donaldson but I don't think it is after his 2020 season. He has a ton of injuries, and I think he, he he's just an injury-type player. And I, 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 eh, I just think he's overpaid for his production in 2020. Now, yes, you could go over his production before and say, he's not overpaid, which is accurate, but I, I just don't. I think he's overpaid. Royals, Danny Duffy at $15 million. Danny Duffy is a... Four or five starter at most. He, he's not great. Four or five starter at most. Next is Miguel Cabrera at $30 million this year. He is one of the main players when you say overpaid. He's he's one of those overpaid players. And $30 million for a player like him is an over, overpaid contract. Um, he does not deserve that for a player that only plays DH. And yeah. Next is Blue Jays. Tanner Roark at $12 million. He, I think, will be the lowest. Or, no, there's another player that will be lower on this list. But he's one of the lower contracts. I don't think Tanner Roark's necessarily worth $12 million. But I could see a world where he is. Next is J. Or, not J. Hap. Jim Carlos Stanton getting paid about $30 million a year. That's an overpay. I, I, I'm, I, Giancarlo Stanton, very good player. When he was an MVP, he was really, really good. But I, I just don't think Giancarlo Stanton, for just being a DH, is worth $30 million. That is an absolute absurd contract for a player that, yes, his production is probably going to be pretty decent, but like, and Next is... Kevin Kiermaier for the Tampa Bay Rays at about $10 million. Now, I don't absolutely hate this contract, but Kevin Kiermaier is not worth $10 million. The Rays, they are a team that does not overpay players, but I think Kevin Kiermaier is a bit overpaid, and I think they should try to move him. Next is White Sox Edwin and Carcion at like $10 million, $11 million, I think. Uh, not a terrible contract, but not a contract that I think is good considering the way he just kind of fell off in 2020. Cubs, another one of those contracts that are really in that bad, bad category, and that's Jason Hayward at $23 million. Now, Jason Hayward came up with my favorite team, the Braves, so yeah, I saw a lot of Jason Hayward. Didn't like a bit of it. I think Jason Hayward is one of the more overrated players in baseball for his services. Meh. Red Sox, Dustin Pedroia at $13 million. I mean, he can't stay healthy. That's the reason why he's on this list when he actually does play like he's a pretty good player. It's just, he doesn't, like he's never on the field. Next is Madison Bumgarner for the Diamondbacks, and they're the final team on this list at $20 million. Wow, this, a lot of people were saying, this is not a bad contract. And I was one of those people. But after his 2020 season, it was absolutely terrible. It, it, I mean, it was sickening. Like, it was terrible. And Madison Bumgarner is one of my favorite pitchers in baseball. But he was terrible in 2020. He was absolute crap. So, yeah. Those are the most overpaid player from every MLB team. Now, I know there was some that did not have an overpaid player and I guess that's pretty good that your team has not overpaid anybody in my opinion. So if you enjoy this video make sure you leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications. 68% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So get your life together. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, leave a like on this video. Thank you for watching and I'll be back with the 10 most team friendly contracts in Major League Baseball right now tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I'll be back with more videos soon.